Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Gizmo Joe. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Lenovo D330 uh, tablet, laptop, two in one sort of thing, Surface Go alternative. Anyway, this is the box. I bought this guy from uh, JB Hi Fi here in Australia. As far as I can tell, this is not available in the United States. Uh, it is available in Europe. It's available in Asia Pacific. So, you know, your China, your Australia, your New Zealand. Uh, but it is not available in North America, as far as I can tell. Uh, now, this guy is a 10.1 inch screen. It's basically one of those tablet uh, convertible things that has a sort of keyboard that you can clip onto it, or actually this one's a high powered magnet from what I read. Uh, it's running an Intel Celeron N4000, uh, which is a low end sort of processor. Uh, you know, it's, you're looking at, you know, some basic web browsing, simple stuff, you know, word processing, Excel spreadsheets, stuff like that. You're not going to be doing any video editing or anything like that on here. Uh, but, you know, some light use, I think it'd be fine. Now, why did I buy this thing? I bought it because I wanted something uh, to travel with. And uh, again, at 10.1 inch uh, screen, uh, it has four gigabytes of RAM. It's got the Celeron processor, which is more than enough to, you know, do some writing and stuff while I'm flying and all that sort of stuff. So that's why I bought it. Now, uh, another reason why I purchased this particular unit is because this thing has a 13 hour battery life, or at least that's what Lenovo claims. Now you go on the Lenovo website and they claim that you can watch 12 hours of video locally stored for, tw for for 12 hours it's insane it's incredible uh now i don't know if that's true and i'll have to put it through its paces before i can find out but i am flying to the united states in a couple days so i wanted something small that i can get some work done on so uh let's with my trusty knife here let's uh slice this guy up and see what's on the inside all right so we have the plastic off now let's open up the box Okay, so uh, on the inside here, uh, just this is the actual uh, tablet sort of unit here. Uh, as you can see, Lenovo IdeaPad D330. Now the D stands for detachable. Uh, so as you can see, it is, uh, you know, a tablet. Uh, I guess the closest thing that this thing resembles is sort of like a Surface uh, Go, so Microsoft Surface Go. So you got your your power right there. So that's going to be a proprietary barrel plug, which I'm not crazy about. I wish it was USB-C. Looks like you have a USB-C port here. You got a volume rocker, uh, power button. Uh, that's your your connector for when it snaps into the keyboard. And I'm assuming there's like prongs that go in here. Uh, right here is your micro SD and uh, SIM card tray. So this guy actually has 4G capability, so which is handy if you're traveling. And uh, over on this side here, I'm guessing that's my headphones. So again, pretty pretty basic. So on the actual tablet part itself, it only has one port, and that's that USB-C port. Uh, let's take a look in the box. Let's uh, see what's in here. So in here, it looks like this is going to be your adapter. Yep, so there's your adapter. And uh, as I said before, it's going to be that proprietary barrel plug, which I'm not crazy about because what if I lose this thing or it breaks or something? Then I got to go find another one with one of these barrel plugs. But it is what it is. Um, I don't think it's quick charge or anything. I believe it's 45 watt. I had a look on the box before. Um, yeah, that looks to be about it. So I'll have to put it through space to see how it char how fast it charges. Here's some uh, documentation. So it's basically just got like quick start guide here. Uh, you got your safety and warranty guide, you know, if you want to read through that thing, but I've used the computer before, so I'm aware of how they, how they function. Um, now here is your, I'm going to put the box, slide the box away for now. Here's the base. Now, one of the things I don't like about the Microsoft Surface and other uh, sort of two-in-one tablet laptop thingies is that the keyboard is usually soft. It's like a soft 
uh, you know, almost like a roll mat sort of thing. I don't know. It, they, they suck because you can't put it in your lap, right? You have to have some sort of table. Now, I spend some time in airports and stuff like that, and it's just a pain. You know what I mean? I can't put it on my lap if I'm trying to type. I need to have some sort of flat surface. Not always available. It's a pain. What I really, what drew me to this particular unit is the a Lenovo D330. This is hard. This is a hard plastic. It is a silvery finish, but it is not metal. It is plastic, uh, so it keeps the cost down. But it is solid. It is thick. It is, you know, it has a bit of heft to it. So when I put the top part in, the tablet part in, it's not going to just tip over. Um, so I do really like that. But let's take a look at the keyboard real quick. It's got a nice big trackpad here. Uh, it does have a clicky sort of button there. So I, I feel that that's nice. The keys feel pretty good. They have a decent amount of travel. They don't make too much noise, which is good because if I'm going to have this on a plane, I don't want to draw attention to myself. Uh, the keyboard is quite small, so I feel like this will take some time getting used to, especially, you know, if you're a fast typer or whatever. I'm not a home row person, so I just kind of, you know, meander about, so that could be a bit difficult. I'll probably end up hitting keys I don't mean to hit, but uh, I'll get used to it eventually. Uh, so here's your, uh, your little hinge there. So yeah, you have the two prongs, you have the little connector here. Uh, let's flip it over on its side here. It looks like you got a USB, like a standard USB-A port. So that's actually really nice. So in addition to the USB-C port that we have on the tablet bit itself, we also have a USB uh, port here. And I think there's another one on the other side. And yes, there is right there. So that's really, really good. I appreciate that very much so. We flick it over onto the back, not much to see there. It's got some two just rubber feet uh, for stability and uh, that's a rubber strip there that also keeps it from sliding around. Um, now let's plug this guy in. So again, here's the tablet portion of it. Now if I, how does this work here? Let's see, I don't want to break anything, but this hinge should uh, open. I might have to consult the manual, guys. I don't want to break it. I just pulled it out of the box. I'll be right back. All right, guys, there's no trick to it. I was just uh, being a little too... Um, I thought it was a bit more fragile than it actually is. Uh, but uh, yeah, so this guy just slots right on. Now, you'll notice I can with one hand take this guy off, but it is a pretty powerful magnet in there. You'll notice that when I... It clips right on. And like I said, this base has enough heft to it that I could actually... I mean, it doesn't have a huge amount of of angle to it. I mean, that's about as far as you're going to get. Um, but that's pretty good. I mean, I, I just thinking about if I'm sitting in a plane or whatever, that's probably where I want it to be. Um, so yeah, so it's pretty good. Now let's fold it over and have a look. So it's pretty thin. It's not the thinnest thing on the market, but it's pretty thin. And like I said, it's 10.1 inches. So it's a fairly small, compact little unit, uh, which is great for traveling. I wanted something really ultra portable, uh, but I didn't really want to spend too much. Now, what did I spend on this guy? Like I said, I bought it from JB Hi-Fi, and this is sort of the base model. So it comes in a couple different flavors, if you will. Um, this one has 32 gigabytes of built-in storage, but like I said, it does have that micro SD card slot, which I believe goes up all the way up to 256 gigs. I have a ton of micro SD cards laying around, and that's what I'm going to do with this guy. So I don't really need a whole heck of a lot of internal memory because I'm not going to be storing much on there anyway. It's all going to be on that SD card. This has four gigabytes of RAM. I believe there is another model that has eight, but don't quote me on that one. I'm not entirely sure because I'm not sure if it's available in all regions or just some regions or whatever. Uh, and there is also a Pentium. I think it's an N5000 version of this. So the Pentium is sort of the step above the Celeron. So it's, uh, and I believe it's quad core, whereas the Celeron's only dual core. Um, so if you're looking for a little bit more performance, you might want to try to sniff that one out. Uh, like I said, this one, JB Hi, 
Hi-Fi. It's the Celeron dual core processor with four gigabytes of RAM. I got it for $349, which is pretty cheap. That's $349 Australian dollars. If you figure out the conversion, uh, that's probably about $250, $260 US. And that's really cheap. I mean, you know, I, I am always on GearBest and geek buying and stuff. And you always see these kind of Chinese laptops that don't have any warranties and you just don't know too much about them. I mean, this is something that has an Australian warranty. It's from a brand I recognize and it didn't break the bank. And uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. I mean, how does it perform? I don't know. I'll have to fire it up and give it a shot and I'll come back with another video to let you guys know what I think in terms of its performance. But right now I'm pretty impressed. For about 260 US to 350 Australian, you're looking at a fairly small lightweight. Oh, I should also mention this is about 600 grams. So it's, it's very light and uh, it looks good. And I'm pretty happy with it so far. But anyway, that's going to do it for this week's video. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've gone to bi-weekly videos. It was just because it was getting a bit much for me. Um, I'll see if I can bump it back up to once a week uh, in the future. But for right now, we're going to be uh, fortnightly. Um, but anyway, thanks uh, for watching. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, etc. And don't forget to hit that like button. And of course, subscribe. It really helps me out. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. This is Gizmo Joe signing off.